justified yet because Giuliano's goons in the office want to enhance the statistics and throwing people off of welfare so that Giuliano can get elected by the racist Republicans across the country and maybe get himself on the vice presidential ticket. I mean, either either it's the good John or the evil John. Yes. But, uh, but the, uh, the, the bottom line is, is this. The, number one, the primaries are the magnet for all the campaign money. A, a New York State Senate race costs millions and millions of dollars. Yes. California, what did that Huffington race cost? Twenty-six in California? million dollars. Twenty-six million. And then That's what was? Disgrace. What about this last New York Senate race with 20 Charles? Schumer? I think twenty million. So dollars. huge amounts of each primary is the equivalent of that. Yes. And with all the attendant uh, consultants and and commercials that are made, I think the country would sink into a depression. If they didn't have these primaries, 45 or almost every state has one now, and certainly in the big states, they're massive money-making institutions. Like you say, California's $30 million, New York is $30 million, the Illinois primary, the Pennsylvania primary, these are all massive states, the Florida primary. It, it is an engine that circulates what? How many hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars? Through the every whole economy. Four, right. They the networks afford. would probably be bankrupt by now. Right, the, the advertising revenue that comes in. What about the, and the commercial houses that produce the commercials and the boy film? Easily, easily, right. And uh, from what I hear, she's, she's also stunning to look at. So she could do television commercials as well as mere voiceovers. And she has that dog, which the dog alone could be the lovely Mildred. Mil Baloney, you are a great conservative. You are the greatest laissez you are You are exactly like Rush Limbaugh. And you are, well, you're full of baloney now. All right, I will admit on, on one or two things. I, I, I admit it. On race, I, am, I have more empathy now for African Americans. I would say that. But that came, and I've explained how that came. But I will tell you this. There was no way I was ever the equivalent of Rush Limbaugh. No, you weren't. The, I was not a pro-corporate uh, anti-taxation uh, guy no. ever. I was never a less safe. I remember fair. when you had that that lady that her husband. What was it? Where did he work for IBM no, or Alessi, something? Alessi, and he John Frank from Queens. I don't think there's enough uh, time to do any specific caller uh, justice, but I'll take a couple of calls off the air if anybody wants to chat. And Lynn, I want to thank you very much for coming here today thank on you. WEVD. It's good to see you again. I've missed you. And I want to thank Phil Boyce over at WABC, the manager. You think they ask me what to do? I mean, half the time they don't even want me to come in. You should throw some of your weight around over there. Get, get yeah, rid of somebody's throw my weight. What? Get rid of some of these doctor shows. It's enough for it. <laughs> With the doctors, you know, like I'm on in the middle of the night, you know, I turn on, you know, I'd like to listen to this, I turn on this radio station here, doctor, I got that pain in my liver. Hey, be careful, or going to have the people from the police connections come to get you, Ellie. All right. Careful now. Okay. I'm glad you're, good hearing from you. Okay, Jay. All right, take okay, care. Bye. All right. All right. Uh, Al is in Queens. This is Jay Diamond on WEVD. Hello, I think Hello. I'd like to start with some, maybe some controversy about buffalo meat uh, from the United States has growth hormone in it, and Canadian buffalo meat doesn't. But buffalo meat in general is low in cholesterol. Well, now that the, the Maka Indians are, are able to conduct their time-honored ethnic ritual of killing the whale, I'm sure the whales are not treated by uh, alien hormones or alien chemicals. Maybe we'll all be able to feast on the, the newly uh, slaughtered whale meat. Oh, those are endangered species. Well, thanks. There's, there's another ethnic ritual. See, there's a cult of ethnicity. We talked about that yeah. last week. The, the Maka Indians feel they cannot be loyal to their benevolent ancestors unless they go out and slaughter the whale. So that's when it goes too far. Yes. But, all right. The Canadian buffalo meat is organic. Low, low in cholesterol, and it, it doesn't right. contain the, uh, uh, the growth hormone. Do you eat it? And other. Do you eat it? A friend of mine uh, does, and, he, and I'm going to follow him. Have you eaten it yourself? Uh, no, I haven't. Call me back after you've had it. Yeah. You intend to eat it grilled, boiled, or poached? <laughs> uh, grilled steak, I think. All right. Let me know. I'm really serious. Thank you. All right. Thank you. We had a, a, a guest here once who, who sold exploding meat. Ellie is calling in the car. This is Jay Diamond. Hello, Ellie. How are you, Jay? Hello. Good. The caller before, Elliot. Yeah. Um, and you mentioned that Lubavitcher rabbi. Right. The, the genes in um, vegetables... Animal genes and vegetables could be a problem with um, different religious groups. Yeah, they're um, suing not, the FDA. I'm sorry? Yes. Yes, go um, ahead. I, Never mind. I'm not a rabbi, but from my understanding of the halakha, which is a Jewish law, is that any animal 
that's not able to be seen with the naked eye, much more um, an animal gene would not be a problem. You're not eating an animal. You're eating a genetic component of an animal, which according to my understanding would not be a problem. Well, maybe we'll uh, get you on here with the rabbi one day. We'll have a debate. It could be. And again, it could be that the rabbi is worried about all sorts of other, but you know... The, the religious ambiguities aside, Ellie, don't you think that people have a, have a right to know what's in their food? Oh, I definitely think people have a right to know what's in their food. But to sue, you know, based on religious nature, that not to do it is a different issue. I, I believe that people have a right to know what they're eating regardless of their religious convictions or beliefs. If you, if you have dietary laws which prevent you and prohibit you from eating pig, and there's a pig gene in your tomato, you don't believe that you should have the knowledge beforehand to make a decision as to whether to eat that tomato? What I'm saying, Jay, is that I think it's regardless of any dietary laws, because, again, um, just because you can't eat a pig doesn't mean you can't eat a tomato that has a gene from a pig. No, but do you have the right to know? Oh, everybody should have the right to know. Well, that's all they're suing for. Regard regardless of a Jewish or any other... Um, no, but they, they, they ha that's all they're suing, is that there should be disclosure. I, I understand that. I think that, um, you know, it's, it's good to keep a clear distinction between eating a pig... How do you feel about the, the introduction of hormones, alien proteins, whose show on shortwave is available to all militia members and evil, evil, bigoted, rightist freaks? Okay, thank you very much. Hello, Claire. This is Jay Diamond. Hi. Hi, Jay. How are you? Good. Um, one thing struck me as you were talking about mouse shale. Yeah. Um, the, the intelligentsia have always been despised by people who are call themselves conservatives and right-wingers. Pol Pot. <laughs>